this is our first web example on graphs quadratic graphs we are supposed to copy and complete the following table for this relation for the interval negative to less than or equal to x less or equal to 5 so to do that this is how we go about it um we take any two or three values then we solve by substituting x and solve for y so when x equal negative 2 we get y to be equal to negative 6 and when x equal negative 1 our y is equal to 0 now when we are done with that you use your calculator go to tables and fill in the rest you don't need to work for all next using a scale of 2 cm to 1 unit on the x axis and 2 cm to 2 units on the y axis we must draw the graphs of the following relations but before that we need to draw the x axis and the y axis so let's do that so this is my x axis and this is my y axis we have 0 1 2 3 so that is 2 centimeters to 1 unit then we have 0 2 4 6 and so on that is 2 centimeters to 2 units you must remember to label your axis in order to score full marks then we are using the graph we are using the table to draw the graphs of the relations what we need to do is we go straight to the table that we have completed then we plot these points we plot these points so let's do that now we are going to plot negative 2 negative 2 against negative 2 against negative 6 so it will be here so let's do that then we plot negative 1 against 0 so it will be here so when we plot all the points this is what we are going to get so after plotting the points the next thing we have to do is we need to draw a smooth curve through all these points we draw a smooth curve through them so let's do that now this is how our curve is going to look like now let's draw the graph of 2y plus 3x minus 6 we need to do something to this line before we can draw its graph so let's look at how we'll do it we'll make y the subject of this line then this is what we'll get y equal negative 3 over 2x plus 3 then we now substitute some 3 val values of x into it so when x equals 0 we get y equal 3 so 0 3 when x equal 2 we get y equals 0 so we have 2 0 and x equals 4 we get 4 negative 3 so we are going to plot these 3 points 1 2 3 then we are going to plot these 3 points so when we plot these 3 points we have 0 we have 4 neck 3 we have 2 0 and we have 0 3 so we are going to draw a line straight line through these three points that's what we had so next the next question is asking us to next question is asking us to use our graph to solve these equations 
y equal 4 plus 3x minus x squared equals 0. Over here, you can see 2 equal signs in it, meaning that we have y is equal to the first one, and the same time y is equal to the second one. So we are going to draw these two curves for us to be able to solve it. When we draw the two curves, wherever they will meet, that is their solution. So the first curve is y equal 4 plus 3x minus x squared. And the second curve is y equals 0. So let's draw them. Fortunately for us, the second curve, which is y equals 0, is the x axis. And this is the second curve, which, which we have already drawn. So this is the intersection. The intersection is x equal negative 1 and x equal 4. So that is the solution of the two equations. x equal negative 1 and x equal 4. Next question. We are supposed to solve y equal 4 plus 3x minus x squared and 3 minus 3 over 2x. Now we realize that when we made y the subject from this, we had this equation. So what they are asking us over here is, at which point are the two graphs meeting? The straight line and the curve. At which points are they meeting? That is all that they are asking us. So let's locate where they are meeting, and that is the solution. So they are meeting at this point and at this point. So let's locate it and see what we'll get. So they are meeting at um that is negative 0 0.21 and 3.32. And the second point over here is 4.71 and negative 4.07. The next question. Find the maximum value of y equal 4 plus 3x minus x squared. Now the maximum value occurs at the vectors. The maximum value occurs at the vectors of this graph. So let's locate the vectors. This is the vectors, the highest point on the graph. So this is the maximum point on the graph. And the y value over there is the maximum value. So the y value is 6.25. I urge you to draw the same curve on your graph sheet and make sure you get the following solutions. Then the next question is asking us to find from the graph the range of values of x for which y increases as x increases. y increases as x increases. So the graph here is representing y. So now as we trace from left to right, the graph is increasing. And the values of x are also increasing. That's the meaning of the first thing. So a graph is increasing, that is y increasing up to this point, the vectors, that's the maximum, and changes direction. So at this point, the graph stops increasing. So the range is from this x value the x value of this point that the x value of the vectors which is 1.5 so the range is x less than 1.5 so for x less than 1.5 the graph is increasing as x is also increasing then the next question is the range of values of x for which y decreases as x increases. So now, the graph starts decreasing from this point. That is x greater than 1.5. It starts decreasing. And 
from that point onwards their x is still also increasing so decreasing as x is increasing so it is x greater than 1.5 that is the range x greater than 1.5 then the next question is the range of values of x for which y is negative we consider the region above the x axis as positive and the region below is as negative so now let's locate the portions of the graph that are below the x axis that is negative and above that is positive so let's do that So look at this portion over here for this range for x less than negative one x less than negative one that is this value the graph this portion of the graph is negative for x greater than four the graph is also below the x axis hence we combine these two inequalities or you can write them like this the range is x greater than 4 and x less than negative 1 the range of values of x for which y is positive so they are asking us which portion of the graph is above the x axis so it is within this range for all the values greater than 1 and all the values less than 4 so for x greater than 1 but x less than 4 that is the range for which y is positive this video has helped you understand the concept of answering questions on graphs see you in the next video